Well, hello, folks. Welcome to episode 130 of this Tennis Elbow Manager 2 save. I am the Custard Prophet. Now, those who are regular watchers of this series will realize I have not got a webcam on today. And there is a reason for that. Unfortunately, one of the lights that I use to light myself um, on video, which is essentially my complicated lighting system of a bedside lamp, uh, has uh, the bulbs gone and I can't find another bulb in the house and it's late um, so uh, it, it looks really crap with only one light so we're going to go without any lights and uh, what I have done because I've been meaning to do it for ages is actually go and spend a little bit of money on some proper lighting rather than two five pound uh, little middle bedside lamps so at some point in the not too distant future lighting should be improved hopefully it will be improved um, on this channel and uh, that should make a big difference with the green screen as well so you'll have to make make do with no face cam for today but next week it will be back anyway let's uh, this is where we finished off last time and we had a rather disappointing loss against Mayanor uh, Spaniard in the um the 15th for yeah the uh, the 15th seed 48th in the world in the semi-final of the washington open which was pleasing we had a few games then after that we played in toronto we played in the uh this master series event we got all the way through to the quarterfinals i thought i was going to be coming back um to to talk to you guys again about us our brilliant run through and you can see we beat uh, a qualifier, a German qualifier, 84th in the world, fairly comfortably, 6-love, six 6-love. Six then we destroyed Ryan Yu, uh, who possibly is the same guy, I forget. Um, I think we've already played him. We beat him 6-1, six 6-love, six um, comfortably. And then, oh, no, 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 this guy becomes important in a second. Then we beat uh, this Russian, 24th in the world, 6-1, six 6-3. Six putting us all the way through into the quarterfinals where we were potentially going to go up against Irez of Israel uh, if we were to get through our, against our German foe, who's eighth in the world, fourth seed. And we had a great game against him. In the end, we lost 3-6, 6-3, 7-6. And, oh, wow, it was, it was a pleasing game. Losing on the tiebreak is always a bit gutting, but getting that far in a major event that is that's what we want to do so then we followed that up in a match again in in cincinnati uh we played raya who we beat six one six love in the last tournament and we lost against him i have to admit i just i i, I didn't i thought well that was easy I, I just let the let the computer play the match and uh i won't be doing that again <laughs> it's uh we, we lost it uh, after a comfortable first set win in, in three sets but don't don't get too disheartened because look how things have gone as we've moved forward into this tet 250 event in winston salem we are ninth seeds in this tournament meaning we actually got a buy through we're 34th in the world so we are massively improving our, our ranking all the time and if we can get down to a certain level i think possibly even this level maybe maybe not far away i don't i don't know we may be a bit too late to get our rankings down for the us open but that'd be kind of cool so by in the first round and then we played a uh, kyrgyzstani um uh player mergus holev and we beat him six four six two fairly comfortably but the the real impressive thing the thing that tells me we are going in the right direction is the next match Gionese, and we'll show you this guy because he is quite spectacular you can see he is a great great player and we played him a few times in the past and he's been in the top 10 he looks like he's slipped back a little bit but we beat him 6-4 6-4 which was a huge result against the top player so that really gave me some genuine hope and then we had a rather unfortunate draw in against um Bauer of the USA in the next round not the hardest really but we uh, we went through against him and we were uh, we were comfortable victors 6 love 6 1 which put us through into the final here playing 19th in the world tier foul or tier 5 from the USA um, who is the fifth seed 
Uh, and if you look through, there's nobody absolutely ridiculously good in here. Each, all of these are out of the top 10. So you feel if we are going to do anything, this is where we want to do it. Uh, we want to we want to make a name for ourselves. We want to show the rest of the world of tennis we are back and back with a bang. So we're going to go into that semi-final match right now and try and take Sh Shawnee through into that next uh, that next final of his. So we have played Tia Fire twice he's a good good player and if you look at him uh maybe lacking a bit on forehand power and that's an area that we might want to think about focusing on his serve is going to be a bit of a problem um he has got issues in terms of strength which is kind of good so we we do like uh we do like it when someone hasn't got all that power um that that is a big problem to us and you can see he's got quite high injury risk as well not that it ever has mattered but so you know if we can if we can make him run about that that might be a good thing and he's not going to return our serve very well so there you go i mean manual oh no we don't want to do that <laughs> uh, so we're gonna we're gonna focus a little bit on his forehand um and maybe we will just, yeah, we'll focus on, and we'll expect to do a little bit on, on the serve. I think he's going to struggle on our serve. Maybe we'll be struggling on his. Now, one of the things tactically that I've been doing um, that we kind of talked about in the last episode is not changing this a huge amount. But one thing you can do in this game to actually reduce the penalties that you can incur is to bring your coach with you. I didn't realize this. So I bought my coach and you will see, um, aim at the forehand. Yeah, so we're gonna aim at the forehand. We're gonna go a little bit attacking there. And we'll take the servant volume. I'm not going all out with taking these things down, but, um, We'll go, we'll go with that for now and then maybe change things up uh, a little bit later on. Right then, let's uh, let's get into this. Well, it's three all in the first set and we are, we've done pretty, pretty well. We've causing him troubles, but he has got the yeah, break yeah, of yeah. serve and that didn't take long, did it? We're going to just put a little bit more on our serve, I think. Oh, what a return that was. Come on, boy. And here we go. We got a chance to break straight back. Love 40. Wow. 15, 40. That's quite some serve he's got on him. Oh, that's two pretty much impossible serves right in the corner. He's going down the middle, you've got to think. It's gone long. Here's the chance. Shawnee forcing the issue here. Nice length on that return, and there we go. And we've got it. It's four all. That was well done. Now we've put a little more pace on our serve, and here is a surprise set point from absolutely nowhere. 30 40 up. We know if we can get into this, the, uh, the match, we might have a chance. <laughs> Not when he's uh, presenting a chance like that, but. Well, their second opportunity, second set point. Is he going to win it with an ace? He doesn't. He's, way, he's so long there. It's ridiculous. Oh, he didn't move. He did not move. You. Well, it's looking like it might go to him. It's a tie break. And he has two, two set points here. We've blown two of our own. And we've given him that like one there, not the best. So if you look at it, it's really, really tight. We have been going into the net a lot and we've not been winning them. So that is going to be something we're going to be stopping completely. I'm going to take that right down. Right, here we go. Well, not ideal. We have, we're 2-1 down. 
and after a really tight first set, we could give an advantage away in the second set and not with a return like that. Very, very nice. Oh, it's long. Just make sure you get this in. Good length there. Oh, nicely done. He's gone wide with that. Very nice. So, you pulled it back from the brink and have won the set. And all the way through and got ourselves a couple more break points ourselves. He kept it in. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> he's sure he's got to put one of those out. 30, 40. Oh, I thought he was going to put that out. It's juice. Again, we haven't make, made the most of our chances. Well, it's gone the other way. It's six all tie break, and we are six two up in the tie break this time. Couldn't be any closer between these two awesome players. Oh, <laughs> oh brilliant. There we go. Seven six in the second set so I think the change we made to the serve I think that worked um, net approaches we didn't really come to the net very much and I think that was a good thing uh, certainly taken those down we are um, forcing more errors uh, forcing him to make more errors and uh, causing him to make more unforced errors no we, we can't cause that but I'm pleased with that let's go Oh dear, it's too old. We look comfortable on our serve, but we have given a chance way out. Oh, wow. From nowhere. Absolutely yeah, nowhere that came from. So he has broken us once before. Actually, we've broken him. Oh! Right, I'm gonna on his on his serve, we're gonna have to do something. Second serve returns. I think we're going to go more aggressive. And here it is. It's a chance to win it. Oh, it's way out. Game said much. Oh, yeah. that's so disappointing. It was such a tight game, that was. There was absolutely nothing in it. 109 points each. Just couldn't find. Uh, maybe I could have taken the... Uh, it was really... Maybe that was the time to take a, um, a performance boost. Um uh, using some uh, XP but I just didn't feel it really um, yeah there was nothing in that game at all both you look at the you look at the stats there he made more mistakes but he won more he was more aggressive than we were and made the most uh, we had more break points than he did he had seven break points he had four and he, he won two of those we only won only one so that that is the difference right there but what i think you can hopefully see is now no longer a player who looks kind of confused and lost this is a player who is ready for the us open and could could certainly have a tilt at having a little bit of a run all the way through it we've had some great wins and that one you know on a different day could have turned into a win as well so another semi-final for uh, for shawnee it's not a tournament win but it's not bad is it and tfl will go through against the macedonian a bit of a surprise there um and a real tough tough task that was anyway folks that will do it for now yeah if you have enjoyed that episode please uh hit that like button if you are new to the series and are enjoying it please subscribe and I will see you in the next one where I think we will be starting out in the US Open. I'll see you there. Goodbye.